Okay, so let's take a look at drawing the sides of our box here. To do that, I'm going to go to the sketch panel, and I'm going to start a new sketch on this outside edge. So make sure you're not clicking on the inside part of the tooth, but the very outside. Click on that, and that brings everything in a, to scale. So you can see I'm drawing on that side. I'm going to go to sketch and rectangle, two point rectangle, and I'm going to draw a rectangle corner to corner. So that's going to be the side. Now, I do need to think about where these teeth are going to be. So under sketch, I'm going to project, use a tool called project and project the geometry from those so I don't extrude them. So project and project here. If I hit P on the keyboard, that would also work. Um, but just to show you the workflow, I'm going through the sketch panel. So I want to project each of these pieces here. Now my computer's a little laggy. Let's, there we go. So there's one. I need to get that bottom line there. There we go. Select the whole thing. Select the whole thing. So you can see how those purple lines are showing up. So that's the projected geometry. If I go stop, or sorry, click OK, and now stop the sketch, all that geometry is there, I should be able to extrude it. If I click on extrude, and I click on that space, and you'll see that it didn't select any of those outside teeth where I projected. If it does, you need to go back and edit your sketch. Now, by default, it's going up this way, which we don't want. So we're going to set a negative value. So I'm going to say negative thickness, because that's the variable we've been using. And instead of join, I'm going to set this to new component. So it's going to make a whole new component. And click OK. So now I've got that side all in place. Now over here, I'm going to click on the name of that component and call it side 3. Just that way I know just what I'm working with on my components. Now on this side, we don't have our two teeth um, for at the bottom. So we're going to need to draw those in. I'm going to go sketch again, start a new sketch on the side, and we're going to draw those into place. So like before, it was sketch, two point rectangle. So there's my rectangle. I'm going to say that I want this to be, sorry, not three, but we're going to use our variable thickness. And we'll make it 20 again. Okay, so there's one tooth. And remember before, we um, dimensioned from the bottom, and we made that 3. Now I could have just wrote thickness, I guess, but we'll just stick with 3, because that way it's uniform. Now my plane here, that's representing the center, but I'm just going to draw a construction line into place. So I've got something to mirror from, so it should, there's the triangle, meaning centered. Come up to the top, there's my other triangle. I hit the escape key to get out of that command, click on the line, set it to construction like we did before. So now I can add a dimension, so D, from there to my construction line, let's try that again, D for dimension, there we go. And we set that to 15 last time, so we'll do that again. So that's all set up. Now I need to mirror it over, so I go to sketch and mirror. Objects are selected so I can click on the objects I want to mirror. And I can select my mirror line, which is that construction line, and hit OK. So that's made those two boxes there. Stop sketch, and I can extrude these out. So extrude, click on the inside of the box, we're going to go this way. It's just going to keep using that variable, so let's go negative thickness. It's set to cut, which is what we want. We want these to be a hole. And click OK, and you'll see there are those two slots that we've, we've got for the holes. Now we need to take this piece and mirror it over to the other side. So we've done this once before, but we'll just go through the steps again. It was construct offset plane. We click on that outside surface, 
and we make a plane in the middle. Now, I went automatically to negative 50 there, but you could type it in if you wanted. Hit enter to make that plane. Then we're gonna go to create and mirror. Components already set, but if it's not set to component, make sure you set it to that. Click on that new component. Select mirror plane, select the mirror plane, and click OK. And then that mirrored that over. Now, got kind of a funny name here, so I'm just going to change that to side four, so I know. And there's our four sides.